Hey everyone, so here's this week's project. As you can see, I'm holding a random metal sunflower. However, it's not that random. So, first of all, I love sunflowers. They're my favorite. I'm slightly obsessed. But second of all, my parents actually bought this for me when I was still in Arkansas. They found it on a roadside uh, fruit stand that also sold metal sculptures. <laughs> they bought it for me and I've had it ever since. But this was like, what? nine years ago four five six seven seven years ago <laughs> and it's had a little bit of wear and tear on it so now we're gonna give her a new life so that she kind of brightens up our front door and front porch and so James is gonna help me bring her back to life so our plan is to go ahead and sand off some of the rusty spots and we've got various different sandpapers to do that and then we're gonna repaint her and give her more detail and just bring her back to life. So hopefully you enjoy this journey of us trying to revamp the sunflower. <laughs> All right guys, so for our base layers, of course sunflowers, they have three different colors, yellow, black, and green for the stem and leaves. So we're gonna do this spray paint. This is the Rust-Oleum American Accents 2X. So it's your primer and your paint, right babe? Right. And of course, this is the best one to use. I don't know that, but Jane used to use it for everything. <laughs> so we're gonna use this one. We're gonna kinda just clear it off, do a touch up on the top, and then go in with details. I got all these little paints from Walmart, these acrylic paints. Again, we love the Walmart. You should know that by now. And we'll go in and add actual detail, but we wanted to do this just to like quickly do the whole thing and to do it right and to have it fully covered and then we were gonna go in and add detail by hand because as you can see, I have a lot of little brushes, but that would be a lot to paint this whole thing with just little brushes. So we're gonna get started by sanding and then we're gonna go in with our good trusty Rust-Oleum paint. All right, so we've just about got all the petals done on the actual flower. And now James has moved to the leaves. So as you can see by these leaves, they're definitely very spotty. Yeah, they did a horrible job painting them, that's for sure. Well, yeah. But they're there to sell fruit, so. <laughs> We're gonna fix it though. We're gonna give her a new life. You can just see like all of that rust and old paint just kind of powder away, which is what we want. And we know this ain't gonna be perfect. It ain't gonna last forever, but. But that's okay, as long as we give her a little bit of a new laugh. You can really see it on this one. Kind of see the paint speckles right in there. Don't mind the chickens in the background. <laughs> Do the back or just leave the back? I'd leave the back for now. Deal. And realistically, we're roughing it up just to get the paint to stick too, really. Perfect. It's probably about the best. I mean, this, I was going to say this, but where they welded it. The stem? Yeah. The splatter from the yeah. welding, you really can't. We can just paint over that. I mean, that kind of... It gives it character. Yeah, the way stems I are it. like that anyways. Yeah. And plants, they're like fuzzy and imperfect. Like so. Too, baby. I think it's fine. Too. All right. All right. We gotta have my air compressor here. I know, I was thinking that too. Blow it off with some air. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, do it again. Get that dust off. There you go. <laughs> so, this is what happens when you ain't got an air compressor here. <laughs> Ideally, we would have blown off all of the paint powder and residue and all that stuff with an air compressor. <laughs> but we're doing the best we can, guys. Doing the best we can. Let's get started. And you'll see that James has the paint can because he is our paint extraordinaire. <laughs> 
to go that far, but. Well, normally I make runs, so. <laughs> Yeah, we let that dry for a little while. Okay. Can we go ahead and do the leaves while That's we let that That's what I was dry? thinking. We could do the leaves. Let's do that. Let's do it. And by let's, I mean get her done. <laughs> we'll actually stand it up to do the leaves. Okay. Spring it directly on the box. was watching you instead of watching like you through the camera <laughs> so it's like doo -doo -doo. like oh yeah show the bottom oh that looks so much better yep. look at that we'll do one or two more coats over the green and it'll look really good absolutely stay tuned for more guys all right everyone so as you can see we got the last coat of paint of green oh it looks so good so now we're going to tape off this black part so that we could do the yellow all the way around the petals. Which just ain't got to be perfect, but we're going to tape it off a little bit. <laughs> we cannot tell you how much we know it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> We don't have any type of newspaper or anything, do we? Uh, no. We might have the Herald from our. How about just town. regular uh, printer paper? Yeah. What are you planning to do with that? Tape up this fully where when I do spray the yellow, it don't mist over on this. Perfect. We'll do another thing around it and then we'll get some printer paper to tape it up the rest of the way. Deal. Yeah. All right, y'all. We have officially taped off the center with some newspaper, some painter's tape. Where we get the painter's tape, Lowe's? Uh, no, I got it at Walmart, too. <laughs> Look at that. More Walmart. <laughs> so again, we got the painter tape from Walmart. <laughs> what you doing there, my love? Taping these together to make them longer where we can cover these leaves a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, here's the moment of truth. Even Martel's excited. You can hear her screaming. <laughs> well, the only thing she's excited about is food and water. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is so great. Man, that's like day and dark. That looks so good. That does. It turned out great. 
So I don't even know if the stem was painted was when I first bought it. I don't it think it was. But if look was, how much was. that changes it. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. James even painted the back of it. Slightly, it ain't perfect, but. Green, which is great. Oh yeah. That is so worth it. All you gotta do is do your little finishing Bob yeah. Ross touches. <laughs> Bob Ross touches. <laughs> And here you see, instead of Bob Ross, we got Rachel Ross at work. <laughs> I like that. Here goes Rachel starting to put lines on the leaves. They look really good. She then did the center, finished up the center by fading it out. on Facebook this sweet little girl's name is tiger tiger's not our cat so don't don't get excited but we figured we should at least share her story so tiger actually belongs to James's mom and dad and she has had the, quite the life so far um, we did not bring her to our house she's not supposed to be at our house however we assumed that she hitched a ride on the underneath of the car somewhere for sure because she was not inside yeah she was not inside james's car when we came home on friday night however she somehow appeared on our porch this morning um so just a little history of tiger tiger is one of four siblings uh to james's mom and dad and tiger has already had several adventures mm -hmm. so the first one when um James's mom and dad were at the hospital. James's dad came out to the car to get like a sandwich and to like take a break, you know, walk away. And he heard a meowing at his feet from underneath the car. And it ended up being Tiger, his cat that he already had. Um, but it hitched a ride with him to Nashville <laughs> to, um, I guess just see the world. Yep, because she stayed the night, over the night, overnight there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah like he stayed the night at the hospital, <clears throat> came down the next morning and that's when he found her. And of course took her back home. She was okay, which is astounding yeah. that she ended up staying with the car. She didn't get scared and bolt out of Nashville or anywhere she could. She just stayed there with the car until she recognized her human coming back. <laughs> and then um, every Friday we go see both of our parents before we come home after work. And we went to his mom and dad's house, like always. Stayed there for a little bit. Then we went to my mom and dad's house, which by the way, they just live right up the road from each other. <laughs> we went to my mom and dad's house, stayed there for two hours. At least two hours. At least two hours. Yeah. And then we drove to the store, which we were in the store for a while. And we went to like Sonic and all these other places. And finally, we came home Friday night. And our way home from their house is windy and hilly up and down. And it's super crazy. Well, then yesterday... We went into a town around our house. We did some exploring because that's what we like to do. We like to drive around. Went and picked up a few groceries, which we were at Walmart for quite a bit too, again. Twice. Twice, yeah. 
all that good stuff and finally came back home then even went running with some friends and then now fast forward to Sunday we hear this crazy noise on our porch and our camera shows that there's a cat which we've been seeing a cat around here anyway so that's not it's not too strange but um then I opened up the door because I kept hearing weird noises and it sounded like a bird was underneath our porch so I went to go look off our steps and I called James out to, just in case I got attacked by something. <laughs> right as we were going to investigate the sound of the bird off the front of our porch, we hear this sweet little innocent meow coming from the side of our porch. We look and start calling this precious little kitty over. And about that time, me and James looked at each other at the same time and was like, is that a tiger? So <laughs> we called his dad to see if they are missing a cat. Sure enough, tiger can't be found anywhere. I wonder why, huh? So, <laughs> this little thing will be heading back to his mom and dad's house as soon as we can get her loaded up. But we figured we should give you a glimpse into our life of <laughs> how crazy everything is. How crazy everything always is. There's always something and it's never like black and white. Nope. There's always something random that comes up. So yeah, we just thought you would enjoy the story of Tiger and meeting her. As always guys, thank you for watching our videos. We hope you like and subscribe and tell us what you want to see next or if you have a video idea. Yep. <laughs> Say bye Tiger!